Good morning, everyone. My name is Alex, and welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Jeez, I, I can never say this name, but we are going to play this game because I like it, and we're doing something a little bit different. You might notice that we're right on the edge of water, and that's because we have an island start. So we don't have any connection to NATO unions or nations, and... The way this game works is you have two different resources uh, for money. You have the ruble and the American dollar, which is your NATO stuff. So you can normally trade between the two. Well, because I'm a wannabe dictator, I am going to do an island nation uh, full of fun things. And the way we're going to do this is going to be a little bit different than I've seen it done before. So we have all of this vegetation, right? And the way this game works is you have to build everything for those that have never played it so we're gonna go over this away so what I'd like to do is get a little like road network going and we're, we're gonna start with dirt which is fine and we're gonna kind of keep it going down this away for a little bit that way we've kind of got an idea of, of where everything's gonna go so what I'm thinking is we do have this you know, nice, beautiful view of an endless ocean forever and ever. And we need to clear out this land. So if we go to our industries here, or our construction, and go to woodcutting post, you can see that there is a very large amount of area that we can get cleared out. So I'm going to set up these guys here. And we want some overlap, which is fine. Here. And try to get all this in here. The best we can. I'd like I have all the trees cut. And right there. So with those three woodcutting stations, whenever we get those built, as we, we have the time paused right now, and we are on 100% day uh, for y'all's viewing pleasure. So these three are going to feed into one sawmill, okay? So if we build a sawmill, uh, and I think what we'll do is because we're gonna we're gonna have to clean out a lot of area for our city, our sawmill is gonna be a little bit up out of the way because we are gonna have to move these, these buildings around. So like these won't be here forever, and that's a-okay because we're going to be shifting them around and clearing out area for our, you know, our city. Because th we have the resources, we have timber, might as well get some timber and uh, make it useful. Now, because this is kind of centrally located, we start off with some construction offices as well. So if I go to depot, I'm going to go ahead and put down two road depots. First, first thing. And I think I can T. There we go. T is your your mirror. I could have sworn that there was a little bit tighter one. There we go. We go back to construction, construction office, and we start with these seven free construction offices. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put these guys down. And they don't need to be perfect. We just want them to be on this road. We got one more to build. There we go. Alright, so we have our construction offices built. Now, we don't have to bring anything to those to build anything with. But, we do need vehicles. So, uh, the first vehicle we're going to need, because the game is workers and resources, not just resources, is we're going to need some workers. So, let's go ahead and we're going to buy. And we don't have the ability to buy anything with our dollar amount. So... We are going to be buying with Ruble, and we'd like to buy a bus, and I'd like something kind of zippy. This holds 34 passengers, so we're going to go ahead and buy four of these. There we go. And... We also need, before I forget about it, because I always forget about this, is we need a gas station, the free one. Yeah, this guy. Get hooked up here, that way our vehicles have 
somewhere to get gas from and it doesn't require power and so we've got buses here so we can rename this one uh, so this is our bus uh, con office there we go so we'll, we'll keep everything kind of straight the next thing we're going to need if we take a look at these is we're going to need concrete, gravel, and asphalt, and a mechanism. So, those are pretty easy to come by. So we have our bus one. Let's go and buy a vehicle again. And the first two things we're going to buy are open hull. Okay. And we're looking for one that can carry a vehicle, right? So we have, this one can carry a vehicle up to nine tons. Well, what good does that do us? Well, if we buy two bulldozers, uh, speed 28, speed 22, we save a thousand rubles. Not too worried about the cost. So we go ahead and buy our two. Okay, but this weighs six tons. So we go two of them. And we buy two of the open holes. Now, do we want this one or do we want something else? So this can hold a total of yeah, about nine tons of everything where this holds about nine tons of everything. Eh, about the same, a little bit less, a little bit less. Let's look at our total capacity here. We can get this guy, he can carry a vehicle up to 40 tons and 40 tons of stuff, but it can only move 30 kilometers an hour, which is kind of a big bad thing. Although we might have a use for this guy in a little bit. Hmm, I think Let's go with two of these. I, I've never used these. The Zill 133. Okay. Then we're going to check this box. Deliver the mechanisms only with trucks. And the reason that this is important is because we're working with such little road space right now. Uh, the bulldozers and excavators driving up and down the road will slow up traffic. And we don't want that. So there we go. And we're also going to specify source for these buildings as to be over there at the the little uh, trade post so we need to do the same thing here okay and we'll rename this one as bull dozer con office all right our next one we're gonna do something a little bit different here I'd like to have a little bit more a uh, little bit bigger truck something that can carry because uh, we're going to need uh, two excavators so let's look here your speed level 20 you're, you're just better for like I think these are a little bit split in, in how good they can be but we're going to go ahead and get two of these and it weighs 11 tons and it's top speed is 18 kilometers an hour so let's go ahead and go back to open hole and we're going to need something that can carry 11 tons of truck and we're really limited on what we can get. So, let's go ahead with the CAS 256Bs. There we go, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. All right, so now we're now we're cooking with gas. On to our very first uh, road depot here. We're going to buy a tanker as well. And we don't need too awful much capacity, but I don't want him running back and forth to the uh, to the thing too awful much. We do have this. It holds 22 tons, can go 60. So let's go ahead and get one of these. All right. And on this, we're gonna do but this construction office. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. We're gonna need two concrete mixers. We get two of them and two covered hull trucks and we'll go with the the Kazes again I think that's pretty good all right so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to assign things there we go and now if I unpause it and we go fast we're gonna have buses coming out and bulldozers coming out and the bulldozers have to drive there by themselves they can't be well they can be picked up from here but we didn't have the uh the stuff so we're not too awful worried about that we're going to go ahead and let 
let these guys kind of kind of rock and while they're on this two lane they can get past so I just need to wait on the trucks to get up here because I need to set up some routes for things that we're gonna do okay so we have our very first tanker here so what do we do we click on this guy we're gonna give him a new stop we're gonna tell him to go here and he's going to unload fuel he's not gonna load fuel and he's gonna go to the station up here and he is going to load there just fuel so he's going to constantly keep this full that's what we want him to do so we need him to get there and back to get uh, fuel in here because if we look at our vehicles here this only has 50 liters of fuel left and and 30 and it's just not not a good look he's gonna possibly run out before he even gets there which is kind of scary ah they're not making it so we're gonna go ahead and set up another road depot really quickly just for a uh a secondary gas station here not expected this is why i don't play this game too awful much well your boy just made a a big mistake here so i deleted the piece of road by accident now well we're just gonna buy a little uh, just a little oil tank here. Something to zip back and forth. Alright, this little guy, he dropped off some fuel. So he's going to be uh, running this route for just a little bit. Because these guys are going to take basically all the fuel. You can see that they want to get to it very, very badly. Okay, I think we finally got it figured out. So this little guy, he did the Lord's work. And he was able to fill up this which was able to put fuel in our in our bigger truck here so we can go ahead and we're going to remove the is that breath love i think is it this one yeah so we're going to remove this stop so we click the stop and we're going to delete that stop and he can just keep this one little fuel stop down here filled up and i think that'll be a, a pretty good thing for him because these vehicles are going to take just so much so much fuel okay the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a fleet of dumpers and i always have problems with just needing dump trucks and i i honestly believe that there is a case to be made for for these guys for sure but i like they're kind of slow they're stuck at 35 miles an hour but they hold 24 tons so this can technically do the job faster but we're limited to 35 miles an hour uh or 35 kilometers an hour on our dirt roads so we're just gonna go ahead buy four of them all right now we've got some stuff assigned our trucks are going to go ahead and get some fuel and with that fuel what they're going to do is they're going to run down to the customs house they're going to get the materials that they require and then they're going to uh, start delivering them to our places that need to be built and we want to go ahead and we're gonna suspend the construction on this uh, sawmill for right now I'm not too awful worried about it uh, one thing that we will do because this is going to affect a few things is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tell these things and i'd like it to be in smaller chunks so it can get done in a relatively okay amount of time so they're gonna start working on that and what we need for that is in one of these so this is our dumpers we're gonna need two more dumpers uh for this i think or do we only get two rollers so we're gonna go ahead and get a roller and we need a paver and we're gonna get a open hole that can carry either one of those I don't know how much these things weigh five tons and two tons so just a common just a common truck let's go and get that guy and we're gonna go ahead and deliver with that and that there and we're going to add another dumper one of our big boys here wherever they are all right so we do have some workers coming in i'm not sure why 
these guys aren't going. Why aren't you going? Let's try unchecking that. Huh, they don't want to be loaded in that truck. I wonder if it has to be a, uh, a low bed truck, possibly. Even though it says it can load them, that's kind of weird. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, okay. And we're finally getting to work here on our first bit. Actually, are we getting all three done? It does look like we're getting all three done. Now, those will need power. And so will this. So let's go ahead and start looking at that as well. Uh, we're going to let this run. I'm not too worried about running out of everything. So we're going to need a couple of substations, it looks like. And these will probably be retained for most of the city. So let's go ahead and do one there. And we are going to need, we're gonna need one here, I guess. So we'll do that guy there. And we're going to need one down here. Now, we're going to need some voltage switches as well. So we have an in and out. So we can do here and here. Trying to make this make sense. And then we should probably get one kind of like this, I think. All right, that is all of the power line set, so we'll hit the uh, start. And we're missing a couple of things. We need some road greens. I think we'll go with the... We'll go with the Zill 113s, it looks like. I wish that we could sort vehicle jobs by, like, weight class, right? Like, this This is 12 tons. I wish we could buy, like, smaller ones and would only send the small, fast ones after stuff instead of sending uh, the big ones out for everything. But I guess that's what that's going to be. I said a flurry of movement. Yes, there there are things going now. Oh, we got our first woodcutter station done. All right. So this is where the plan will start to come together. <laughs> All right. Um, another piece that we're going to need out of this is I'm going to need a place that is suitable for some storages. All right. So this cargo station is going to take our items from here and put them into here, and then we'll fast transport them uh, with trucks uh, as as it gets built up. And then we can also use the timber here for other things as well. Hmm. All right, let's get some trucks here. Oh, and we're going to need some people. So we need a bus stop. And luckily, the kind people here have given us three bus stops. And we're just going to put these right beside the things that we're trying to get done. We we'll had a couple mud paths. I know we're doing a lot of mud work, but a lot of this is just going to be simply replaced. So let's go ahead and add another road depot just for uh, like probably two buses is all we're going to need. And I know this looks like a construction site because it is a construction site. And I don't want so many passengers on each one. Let's go to total capacity here. Like I want more than seven. This holds 25. It goes 60. Okay, we're going to wait for them to get here. Is this being worked on? It appears to be waiting on something. I guess we're just gonna let them roll without it because they're not getting loaded and that's kind of frustrating. Oh, there we go. Now we're actually doing something with ourselves. We're, we're making the road up. Okay, so we have our three buses and what I wanna do is we're gonna assign each one of these buses uh, to different stops. So we're gonna say, you're gonna go here and you're not gonna pick up everybody and a brother. Okay, and you're going to go down to here, and you're going to unload them, and you can start. The next one, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the different drop-off points, so we don't need tourists or kids or, you know, really highly educated people. And you're going to go to the next bus stop in our line, which was here, and you're going to do basically 
the same thing. You can start. And can you guess what we're going to do with the last one? So that does that. This is getting done. And we have a new vehicle. Look there. We can get a VZ2101. Looks like a Lada. Probably is a Lada. And a bus. Yay for us. All right. Now, to actually get some work done. So we have these things built up. This one is missing... What are you missing? Just people? Are you just missing people? Can we... Let's prioritize this. We got high priority. Anyway. So, we need three trucks here. And we're going to go ahead and buy the, the just the biggest ones. So, got three of them. And we'll go here and do the same thing. All right. Now, we can unpause this. And we'll get this starting to be built up. Because these are going to get full and they're going to start clearing away for our houses and other fun things. Oh, I see what the problem is when my things aren't getting built. I'm an idiot. Imagine me being an idiot. Because I did not connect up roads to certain things. Now, does that work? Yes, vehicles are moving now. If only I wasn't an idiot. If only I wasn't an idiot. Construction on this part, though, is going pretty well. We've got just a single excavator on site because everybody else is, I guess, busy doing other things. So, I'm okay with that. I, I just need power. Like, that's all we need. We just need some power. And they're taking their sweet time on getting us that. Oh! Oh, we did get a power line constructed. Oh my god. It's a, it's a, just a miracle of modern science. We got one of them done. That's amazing. It's this one. This is the one that we got done. Uh, now they should be working on these? Yes, they have everything but the workers. And a crane. Where's the crane? Please tell me somebody is sending a crane. Oh, we are getting parts here for our stuff, though, which is nice. Looking like our bricks and steel have showed up. And we should have some timber coming in. That'll be good. Because what we're going to do with this, all this timber, we're going to start using some of it ourselves to build up uh, housing and stuff. Because we're not going to start with uh, too big a stuff, I don't think. Oh, these are built. Yay. So we just need the, the relay here, the, the switch. We just need uh, workers and some kind of machine. Oh, it looks like we've got a machine coming in. Oh, it's finally happening. The, the hardest part of this is dealing with the, the dirt roads because you're, you're limited on the amount of uh, just speed that you can get. So, and having everything come through the port of entry is a definite slowdown on stuff as well. So that's why I'm doing this leg is going ahead and being pavement because I do know I want to have uh, a city kind of in this area. Probably like a right around here. Kind of be a, a decent sized one. We'll do trains to a lot of other stuff because the resources on this map are very, very, just, they're far spread out. And having, um, having a bunch of stuff would be fun. You know, trains, planes, helicopters. We can get helicopters. So we're going to stick with this one. We're going to keep on pounding it out. Even if I make mistakes, we'll be able to recover. I'm not too worried about, you know, anything here. Oh, here come our components here for this. Our, you know, a little bit over three-quarter ton of steel and quarter ton of electronic components. And that means we only need workers. And we'll finally have power, and you guys can start to see what's going on. Are we just not getting people here? What is going on? I feel like I've been waiting on people uh, for our construction project here for like two hours. Oh, we got a, a line of people coming in. Maybe they will do some work. And... 
Okay, we finally have power lines built. So let's go ahead and start importing power. We're going to import just a little bit. 1.81 megawatts. And now, there we go. We're finally getting some trees felled. So we're looking at this number here to constantly go up. And as they cut down the trees, we are going to be taking the trees and bringing them in here. And that'll work out fairly well because that means we can get a truck set up or possibly two. What do we need for you? You just need some workers. Good thing we have some workers coming in a bus. And this might actually get done today. It's going to be close. All right. So we're without power here, which is kind of a bummer. Um, mainly because I forgot to hook up power lines. So we'll get those going. And I'm going to set this up. And it's going to hold wood and boards. And we're going to limit these amounts to be 50-50. There we go. And if I were to buy just two more open hole trucks, we only going to need the two. And I'd like their total capacity to be decently high. Um, I don't think this should be that. I think we're going to need a distribution office. Okay, so we're going to add a new connection. Here. Here, here. Here. And here. Okay. So at the wood cutting post, we're going to load everything. We're not going to unload anything. And we're going to unload... wood and planks and we're gonna load wood yep okay that makes sense we're gonna load wood but I'm not gonna unload anything I'm gonna load stuff and we're going to unload we're gonna load boards and unload wood And I think that that works. Is this actually working? We have power here. We don't have any any uh, any workers. I need uh, I need some workers here. Where's my bus depot? I built one, didn't I? Okay, we're gonna get one more bus. Doesn't need to be too fancy. And you can see here what's going on. It's starting to clear out all the wood. So if we just had places to keep all the wood then we'd be doing pretty good right all right our road here is done so hopefully we'll start to see them using this more and ah, looky there who we've got and we're starting to get some more area cleaned out which means that we're finally done with day one of construction <laughs> it only took an hour and a half that wasn't too bad <laughs> So what does this mean? Um, this means that we can start planning out water for our fellas and ladies and gentlemen. Are we not still getting workers? All my workers are being sniped, I think, by some bus somewhere is sniping our workers. Yeah, you've got 23 workers. You cannot have 23 workers. You're going to only load about 50%. Uh, maybe even 30%. <laughs> because that's, uh, that's why we don't have any workers anywhere else. Now, because we are clearing out land. Looky here at all the, all the open space we've got now uh, that this guy is working. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> we, <laughs> we need workers here to turn these into lumber so we can export it and make a little bit of money back and uh, start to use some of it as a resource. And we can look at building up some houses. Now, I do have some modded residential buildings, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. I was thinking something like these village houses. I think these look great and are pretty cool to get started with. I think that that's the direction that we'll take, and... 
you know, I, they'll need food and everything like that. We're going to have to get it all figured out. But for, for right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult because all, the, just one van takes all my people and I need, I need people here. Where are my buses? Why aren't you going? So, uh, for the worker stuff, we're going to need water, which is a whole thing. We're going to need like a small water well and, and all this other stuff. And there's like uh, pumping stations and substations for the water. And you know, to, that's just to get like a small village started, which each one of these buildings holds eight or four, somewhere around there. A couple of these hold a couple more, a couple less. Or we can go with a big prefab building, which looks okay. We can start doing that, but they'll be without water, and if they don't have water, they start to revolt. So, what we need... Do you have any workers? How did you not have... Microbuses are making me mad. <laughs> I bet they have all the workers here. You have eight. There are 51 workers here. How do we not have any workers? I want to do this before this episode's over. Now, the reason I built the small one here is just to kind of get it out of the way, because we're going to have to build our own construction office, which I guess we could do. I mean, that would be probably better to do our own construction office right now. So, let's go ahead, and while we're waiting on things to, to end here... I have never used one of these. I'm going to use this paneled road. And we're going to say that our construction office is going to be up here. And we're going to go ahead and confirm that. And I've never had one of these. So I don't know what that takes. Looks like some gravel and some prefab panels. So that'll be pretty good. Chop to it, guys. Chop to it. All right. Do we finally... Oh man, we finally got workers. They're coming. They're on the bus. We're gonna see this thing turn on. Come on bus. Right here you are. There you go. Oh, we're gonna be spoiled. We get like all the workers. Get in there, do the work. Well, that's where we're gonna leave it. That should have been spitting out some stuff. So in between episodes, I'm gonna get the power fixed and we're gonna get this uh, road completed and we'll kind of see uh, then but you can kind of see that we are getting these areas cleaned out and once these areas are cleaned out we're gonna go ahead and start building out our road network and planning our city so uh, the main reason for wanting to use the modded buildings is they take a lot of boards and bricks where these take uh, some boards but a lot of other stuff so we can get a ton more buildings done with a, uh, a lot smaller deal we can make a nice little almost uh, suburbia kind of thing is what we could get get done but yeah that is what we're gonna do and I will see you on the next episode bye for now